Hello, my name is Robert Clendon. I work here at Te Papa as an object conservator. Behind me is the skeleton of the racehorse Farlap, and at the moment I'm preparing the skeleton to be loaned to the Museum of Victoria. As you can see, the skeleton behind me is actually missing its, um, its legs, pelvis and head and neck bones. The reason why we've taken the head and neck bones off is that over the years, the 1938 articulation steelwork has slumped somewhat. It's looking down opposed to looking actually out. The job that is ongoing at the moment has involved removing the skull, removing the vertebrae, and then having our object support team come in, take the steelwork away, and change the angle and position of that steelwork. I'm Michael Fitzgerald, and I'm a history curator here at Te Papa. I'm interested in Farlap as a historical person, if you like. He's been described as the most famous and highest achieving racehorse in Australasia. His string of victories, in the, particularly in the Melbourne Cup in 1930, was unprecedented. He's continued to be a folk hero in Australia and New Zealand. In a very real sense, he's a national icon in both countries. Unfortunately, Farlap died very suddenly at the peak of his career. People at the time thought he might have been murdered by gangsters or, you know, crooked bookmakers, those sorts of people. But that's actually quite unlikely. The most likely and most recent explanation for his death is that he died of a form of bacterial infection, a form of enteritis, which was unknown to veterinary science at the time. Well, we didn't really have much information about how Gibson and uh, Lindsay actually articulated the skeleton because they, it looks as though they didn't keep a diary. But what we did have to work from were really interesting photographs published in the Wellington newspapers at the time, which gave us the original pose and posture of the, of the bones. So with the good profile shots of the original posture of the skeleton, we could do our correction exercise while we were taking it apart. The material that's been put on the skeleton to, um, to replace the original cartilage since 1938 has contracted and broken. What I've been doing is been injecting an adhesive into that plaster material which will consolidate it and hold it together. After that set, I'll then be putting a fill material in and then painting it. So Papa has actually got a lot of, got a lot of knowledge these days of traveling and touring skeletal material. We have a, a touring show called Wales to Horo, which is traveling through the States at the moment. And the lessons that are being learned, particularly in the crating and the vibration minimization, will be used uh, when we travel this animal.